Hey guys, Brasaki here. Hold on, let me set up in my chair. Um, so I want to introduce you guys to a brand new game. Well, not brand new, but it's a very good game that I haven't seen it get very much publicity. Um, and this is Bear Labs, by the way, as well. Welcome back, you know what I'm saying? We're trying some more games. So this is a game I'd played quite a long time ago, specifically about two years ago, and it's received a 1.0 update, and it's also received a... Uh, after patch update and I haven't played it in so long that I just don't I don't remember how uh, anything actually works here so we're going to be relearning the game together um, it's a very hard game as well uh, let's do the world map mode this is like a campaign mode you can conquer a whole world I'm pretty sure and then skirmish is just a singular map uh, we're going to do the world map but like it's probably not gonna you know we're probably gonna fail it it's fine Okay, so you, you start in this map right here, and you can choose one of these places to make your world. Well, to make your civilization, I guess, is a better way of putting it. Um, now, we're, we're definitely going to lose. Uh, this game is extraordinarily hard. Like, this is one of the hardest games I've <laughs> played in a really, really long time. And when I was learning... Um, Oh, wait, hold on. Let's just keep it on survival for now. Um, I don't think this is a new campaign. I think we need to find a way to start a new campaign. Um, I'm like 99% sure. I... I don't know how we do that. Maybe... Hold on. <laughs> I know we're two minutes on the video and you've seen nothing but load screens, but sometimes it'd be like that. I'm actually just going to delete our old profile because um, this was created before 1.0 and I literally got a message that was like, hey, uh, a lot of stuff is going to be messed up because you have a really old profile. It's like, that's fine. I don't care. All right, now let's go here, and we should start... The bar should be completely empty at the very top. Yeah, there we go, and we get to choose everything here. So let's start with survival. Survival is really hard. Maybe we should start with traditional. You know what? If we're going to show the game off, let's start with traditional. I don't want to have to restart the game over and over. Welcome to Rise Ruin. For your first village, you may select any region. Click on the light up boxes and then clicking a established village. From there, you'll be provided some first villagers. Uh, your primary village will spread out from the region and the connected region, so choose wisely. From now on, just focus on developing your first village. So, like I said, let's go to traditional just so we can learn the game. Like I said, I haven't played in a really long time. And I bet like 90% of the strategy that I barely even remember in the first place is probably not even applicable anymore. So, let's just start it over. Burlap special. Maybe that's what we should have named it. Um, okay, so let's start start down here, because this is where I wanted to start before. Good and establish our village. Like I said, I don't really remember this game all that much. It it was I just remember it being extraordinarily hard. We played like 15 hours of it on stream uh last Halloween, somewhere in there. Time to get started. Since this is your first time playing, you'll be getting tons of in-game tips. Well, thank you. The game is a steep learning curve, and you know, the game is paused when the tip is being displayed, so please take time to read them. You can turn them off at any time. Uh, set up camp somewhere, get starting location. Should have some rocks, trees, crystals, food, and water. To place your camp, first press OK. Okay. So let's take a look around. Here's some crystals. Um, Here's some pre-built stuff. I love building close to pre-built stuff. We have uh, gold storage. We got some crystals. There's some rock. Fullest gate. Makeshift essence collector. These are just flowers. We need food. I know that there can be like... Oh, itchy. There can be like carrots and stuff sometimes. Like, here's some. What's this? Dead trees. Turnips. There we go. Some turnips. What's that? Ancient Radiance Pool. These are dead trees, I assume. Interesting. Oh, here's some carrots. Oh, you know, this will actually work. Let's just set up right here. 
Yeah, there's... Okay, this is going to be fine. Go ahead and place our camp. Let's just go right... Right there. Why not? And it summons in some resources for you, and it summons up some villagers. And you can pause at any time. But you can't do stuff. Like you can't, uh... Can't make the game work outside of it, I don't think. You used to be able to, to my knowledge. Can't anymore. Okay, so we have our people out here. They are mighty confused. They're just not sure what's going on. So we have a marketplace, a doggo house. What is this? Doggo house is an abandoned building. Your villagers will need to repair it before they can use it. If the building is in range of your village, you can click the building and click the reclaim button. Okay. They're creating our little, uh, our little village here. It's going to take him a second. Oh, nice. It actually tells you he's working on it now. That used to not be a something. <clears throat> so if I'm not mistaken, the most important stuff... Uh, right out the gate is food and uh, gathering stuff, right? What is this? Many buildings can have work as assigned to them and will allow all sorts of different work tasks to be completed. The builders assigned to the village center, for example, can build, repair, dismantle structures. They can also harvest raw material, but only if they're required to build something. Harvesters from building like the lumber shack, on the, hand, on the other hand, will continue to harvest materials regardless of the village's need and create a, stock, a stockpile. Okay. Let's go with harvesting first this lumber shack mining facility and village center yeah yeah okay so lumber shack first off let's get one these are some dead trees we can harvest these up go ahead and get that started um we're probably gonna want some rocks i think we want crystals yet we're gonna need crystals later now one thing that's important here let's start with that i think how do you do it grab no i don't want the magic Oh, here it is. This is what I wanted. So we have harvest wood. So we can set this wood to be harvestable right here. Then set that wood as well. Then we have rock that can be harvested, and we have crystals. We can also set some food. So let's go ahead and set this turn these turnips right here. All harvestable. How do you cancel stuff? Q to unassign. Hold Q. There we go. Unassign that water, and let's make sure this water right beside us is the water we harvest. Right beside the turnips as well. Um, and I think that'll be it for now. Actually, what is this? Oh yeah, carrots. We'll grab carrots too. Carrots are yummy. They're pretty close to home. And let's go ahead and make that mining facility as well, I assume. is probably not a bad choice. Probably, I mean, you, let's keep it close to the village right here don't worry i'm getting to it seven we're gonna make let's get rid of all the little rocks right here and let's start carving this out because we could set up a little encampment right here i will have the crystals be these crystals that need to be harvested just because they're close i don't want our people to go too far yet kind of dangerous i don't think we see it yet because it's still dawn but when nighttime happens i'm pretty sure that's when stuff starts to get freaky naughty This has changed. This isn't how this used to work. Used to be able to summon them infinitely, but they just died off over time. Now it looks like there's a maintain cost. Kind of neat. Okay, so we have all we need except for the crystal harvest tree. That's fine. I don't think we need any of this stuff yet. Um, So let's go ahead and start working on food and water. Need a ranger lodge or an outpost kitchen. Okay. Um, one thing I want is I want a rain catcher so we can make use of some of the rain that comes down. I like trying to keep a decently clustered village. I think it's just smart that way. Since this is pretty cheap, let's go ahead and make us a well as well. Interesting uh, way of stating that one. Okay, and let's go ahead and let's set up a a waypoint here. So these are ways that your people that are going to defend your village will walk around the village and they'll walk to this. And this will kind of give us a little bit of space around here to work with, which will be good, I think. 
um i kind of want an animal pen the only here's one of the things though you don't want to set up too many jobs for your people to do at once you kind of got to let them got to let them figure it out for themselves if i click on this camp i can see that there's not much but i can upgrade it and i was absolutely in love with this game when i played it okay what, what was that oh here we go the new makeshift lumberyard your villagers will have built your villagers have built offers your village six lumberjack job slots. If you want your villagers to change that job, you'll need to raise the desired amount. Okay. So let's uh tell them to make... I swear there used to be a way to make infinite. Oh, there it is. Maintain infinite. Maintain wood. Oh, I see. Maintain the storage element. Yo, that's actually a nice change. So let's make one lumberjack for now. I don't want to go too crazy on it, you know? I don't we don't need too much wood. I'd rather them if something needs done, I'd rather them be focusing on that than just only harvesting wood. So let's go ahead and summon us a, a holy protection golem. Actually, I mean we don't really need to though. I like we're actually okay. We don't really need to do anything right now. Kind of just chilling. So it was nighttime. Do are there any enemies around? Doesn't look like it. Maybe I guess they don't summon on the first night, so you don't get overran on the first night. Makes sense. Um But what are they working on right now? They're getting this rain catcher up. Why do I hear combat music? Did you hear that? That was definitely combat music. Wait, are you hurt? No, you're not. That's oh, they the villagers also level up and get better. So we should probably Yeah, make some housing. Go ahead and uh You know what? Let's just make a let's make a house to the south slightly. There we go. Now this holds how many people? I can't remember. And store rations has desirability and it can hold four people so right now we have 12 people so we need three housing or we need to upgrade them y'all are doing great appreciate y'all this is a slower game by the way we're gonna play an hour of it regardless and um if we aren't what is this oh they're little flowers I what the flowers even do oh maybe they're just like maybe they up the desirability maybe feel like having them around or something all right let's go ahead and um add one worker to here as well so we've one lumberjack one dedicated miner and we have both of them trying to maintain it all the way up which is good then we'll get our water up and running and uh right now if people need food they can just go gather it because there's plenty of food around but we should probably go ahead and get it up and running for food as well let's go ahead and get a basic farm put this just put it up here this is fine they're doing they're doing the lord's work and if this case i am the lord then they're definitely doing my work there are no homes there's no harvested food it is very hot outside 14 villages are homeless and 13 villages are hot that is okay we're working we're working on the homes let's at least start with two homes as well i think is going to be yeah, easy play here. And there's a maximum number, or there used to be a maximum number of buildings you could create. And I don't know if that's still the case or not. So we can, I'm just going to let there be one water master, and the water master is going to work on the well, and he's also going to work on this. Okay. Bram Simmons is heating, is burning up in the heat. If it gets too hot outside, your villagers don't have a home to go cool down in. They could die of heat exhaustion. Try getting enough homes for your villagers as soon as you can. I mean, they're working on it. If I'm not mistaken, you can also increase priority. Like right now, everything is an equal priority. But you can increase uh, priorities for things. There's there's a worker here. Just calm down. We need to lower one worker from there because we had 14 people overall. And if we lower uh, one worker, it'd work it here. Okay, they're working on the house now. That's good. I mean, I don't want them to die of heat exhaustion if we can help it. There's so many lists up here that you can do, too. Oh, look, they're already... They're a mate. Interesting. They're a couple. Bob Bush and Melanie Bush. Yo, good for y'all. 
age. Oh, interesting. I'm not sure what leveling does. I, I assume it would make them more efficient. We'll also make one guard as well. Lower the building to equal that up. There we go. This is really nice. We're starting to get a uh, small amount of water. It's not a lot. Like, look, it's barely generating any. But it is something. And if we need water, he can start uh, collecting it now. Then we, we're going to need a bottling plan or a purification kind of thing going on. But we'll see when we get there. I, I don't want to go too crazy yet. We still don't even have, like, the basics up and running, so... Kind of, uh, it's very interesting how they changed the summoning system. It, it used to be very different than this. I wish I could click on the flowers and see what they did. This is one of those games where you kind of need to experiment quite a bit as well. Like, uh, not everything is obvious. Ah. There used to be, um... Man, we should have built over here. Look how cool this is and we got all this water to protect us. Their phone is their food? Oh, man, we messed up. This would have been... It would have been kind of annoying to, um... It would have been kind of annoying to start in because there's not very much room, so we'd have to like space our buildings very, very well. But nice. Okay, so we have four buildings. So they sleep slower, but the housing capacity goes up, where they get better sleep and health regen, and the housing goes up by three. So we could have like maximum capacity housing. So if we have two maximum capacity housing, we can, um, it, it's kind of a cheap way to do it. But if we get two maximum capacity housing, everyone will at least have a house. So if they get too hot, they at least have a place to go relax in so they don't burn up. I think that's what we're going to do. That's the water coming along. Yeah, it's stacking up a little bit. At least people can go get water now, which is a good thing. How you feeling? You feeling better after that? Yeah, their water needs are met. After we get this farm up and running, then we'll start having food as well, which will be really good. Oh, look at all the rocks that person's carrying. That's just impressive. And they are working on the farm. And we have one person who can... Um, Go around and protect stuff. Melee damage crushing, wandering around. It's pretty cool that you can actually see what they're doing, too. What is this little bar on there, I wonder? Oh, is that their HP? Why do you have 40 health? Didn't that other person we clicked on have, like, 80? Or is I'm just, I'm just crazy? I think I'm just crazy. I mean, you guys probably should have worked on the other house before you worked on upgrading the house. But, you know... I mean, I guess we could we could change that, right? If we wanted... But it's fine. Right now we're kind of just chilling. There will come a time when there are monsters and stuff. And when that happens, we are going to start to need to build defenses. Which we should probably preemptively build, but I'm not going to go into it yet. From what I remember, the easiest thing to build are these, like, sniper towers. I mean, it was when I last played, but granted, that was a long time ago. But you build these sniper towers, and then uh, you need a place to build ballista arrows for them. So it's kind of like a multi-stage process, and then you need somebody who's going to be able to refill that regularly. Hey, did this spread? The heck? This. Your village has built their first farm. Once you assign workers, you'll need to kickstart the farm with some wild food and water. You can harvest both from... Yeah, yeah, we know that. And uh, we'll go ahead and do... You know what? Let's do two farmers, because I feel like farming is very important. We'll minus two builders here, and now everyone can uh, get some stuff done. I feel like I feel like this is going great. I, I'm happy we didn't start with a survival mode right away, because I'm kind of feeling great. I didn't even notice we had normal trees over here. I thought everything was dead. Oh my god, wait, all this is trees? Am I just blind, or did I think it was the same as stone? I probably thought it was the same thing as stone. So...
How's our wood doing? We're zero out of 32 in here. Maybe we should hire someone else to be a lumberjack as well. Because our, our lumberjack situation just isn't really popping that well. Oh, look at them. They're harvesting. Get that. Stuff. Harvest and start planting. There's seven dirty water. And five. So we're going to need water purification before people can drink this, huh? They can drink from the well, but they can't drink the other water we gather. Bro, that's sick. Is it? Ooh. Um. So where is the world sick? It said blight. The world is sick. Or did my people get blight? I'm not sure. I guess, uh, I guess we'll see sooner or later. not too soon <laughs> um so let's go ahead and start making that water purifier this seems really important and it looks like oh look at that it fits right in that's beautiful so it looks like we can actually create like a little defense thing here where they have to like go along a certain path. What are you doing? You okay? Eating a raw vegetable. You know, that's fair. I guess we haven't made them into meals yet, so. Um, so we're gonna need to upgrade this as well to high capacity. Uh there is a hint somewhere. Oh here it is. Is a Isabella Bulger is dying of thirst. You better find that poor villager some water quick or she may die. Did you build a water purifier well or rain catcher yet? Are they producing enough water? Maybe you need to build more. I mean, they're not producing enough water, but there is water in there. Where, where the hell is Il Isabella? How did we get to that menu earlier? Isabella, go get some damn water. I don't know. Is it my fault that you can't fix stupid or like what's going on here? How do we see one villager is dehydrated, two are thirsty. Got some water. What what are your stats looking like now? Barely got any. Yeah, we might need some more wells, huh? Heck. Can you upgrade a well, actually? I've never done that before. Increases water generation rate and maximum storage. Yo, that seems good. We can upgrade instead of building more. One villager is overheating. Yo, we're working on it. Six villagers are homeless. We're working on it. Poorly tended. What does that mean? I'm not sure what that means. We have two people working on it. I guess... Yeah, I don't know what that means. May it just... They went away. I assume that's because they didn't water the plants yet. Get rid of this for now. Oh, that's cool. You can see the priorities on them. That's really, really good. I know this is the building list. Oh, here's the resources. Okay. This is the population. So who was, it was Il Isabella. Did she ever get water? Still doesn't get water. I know you're busy building, woman. Go get some dang water. What are you doing? Has dysentery. You drink bad water? Oh my god, you're dying. You idiot. I mean, wait. Oh, they even built this water purification. Wait, are you just gonna die from dysentery? Uh oh. Probably need a clinic, huh? Yeah, we need a clinic. Heck. Okay, we can build it right in the center, which makes sense. That's where you would want it, right? Okay, there might not be any available rock, but they can work on it. Ben Sass is starting to get sleepy. If your villagers are too tired and have nowhere to rest, they may end up sleeping up outside. Yo, first off, top priority is water. Okay? Like, straight up second priority is going to be... To get this water up and running. 
Those might, I mean, houses are <laughs> priority too. Oh no, I don't know. Why, why is, what's red? What's happening? Is something bad happening? Red, 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 red. Is it you? Who's red? Oh, another person has dysentery. Or is this, the, this might be the same person. Can they spread dysentery? Isn't dysentery just from drinking bad water? It makes you have diarrhea or something, right? Chicken! Oh my god, there's a wild clucker finding a safe place to settle down. Yo, bro, you want to be like my bro? Can we raise animals on this farm? Didn't it say we could? Hold on. No, you need a coop. A clucker's coop. Allows rangers from ranger station to capture chickens that can be slaughtered in the kitchen for meat. Uh, what captured animals may breed? I mean, obviously we'd need two. So some people have housing, but not everybody, man. We need... Need you guys to step it up. Now, where's the guy with dysentery? Are you still dying? Oh my god, he's still dying, bro. Wait, I don't... It says chatting. It doesn't say has dysentery still. But does he? That's the question. I think he's getting HP back. He was at 90, now he's at 100, right? Or maybe he leveled. He didn't level. Oh, he's getting HP back! Yes! Dysentery didn't kill our lad. Good job. Good job not dying. Can we get some rain, though? Please? And thank you. Now that we have this oven running, maybe we should remove a farmer and we should just get another water tender. But I guess we can't put water in the well. I don't know if there's really much of a point. Oh, wait, we can change spells. What the heck is this? Summons a magic wall that will help block all types of monsters, including specters from crossing. Requires a portion of your maximum influence to maintain. That's pretty cool. Alrighty. Alright, this is actually really cool. I wasn't aware of this. Banish your enemy to a random location in the region outside your village. Uh-oh. Cold aura. Slowing down and freezing creatures. Okay. Dolls, living resources like crystal, wood, and dead bodies on the map, converting them into essence. Oh, golem. Oh, god structure. The well has been complete. Good job. A labor golem. Let's, um, let's do this. Let's do conjure material. Can we conjure water? How does this work? A rock. Okay, I conjured some rocks. Kind of interesting. What about if I do it over here? Does this conjure crystal? I guess we have energy and we're getting more energy, so we may as well use it, right? I don't see any enemies yet, which I'm I'm very satisfied with. Um, I know this is like the passive mode that there will be very light, uh, enemies, but I'm just like kind of concerned that kind of creep up on me without me paying attention because I know that enemies generally don't attack and still they start, uh, they start building up. They kind of like build like a counter village to yours and your whole goal in the end is to eventually get rid of them, to my knowledge. But what did this even make? This made more rock. Oh, it made rocky trash. You to use a processor or just burn it for free essence. Okay. You're sleeping on the floor. Come on, bro. We got we're working on the houses, man. Okay, this is still not really making enough water. Is it worth? Oh, we don't have cut stones. We can't upgrade it again. Maybe we should just make another one. Make a let's make a well in the center. Actually, let's make a well down here because if they want to walk up to the well, they can. But let's make one down here by the houses, so when they come outside, they can just drink out of the fountain if they want. Oh, what is this? You've run out of building slots in order to manage your ever-growing village. You need to upgrade your camp, build some ancillary, or build some ancillaries. 
You can upgrade your camp by clicking on it and clicking the upgrade button. Okay, that's fine. We'll do it after this gets um, completed. A way to distribute water better is probably the right call, I think. I don't think we need more water masters with it. I mean, maybe we will. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Starting to get pretty high on the energy again. Need to raise village population. I'm pretty sure you need houses, and in the houses... Um... Why is there... Oh, you're dying of dehydration. Chatting with our partner. Hey, can you uh, go get water? I wish we could like tell them to do stuff, but you can't. You just have to hope they do it. How much water is in there? Dusk has arrived, it feels peaceful. Okay, good. There's not much water. This guy just went and got some. Going to makeshift water purifier to drink some water. Oh yeah, good job. I forgot. That's so good. Oh, you're drinking so much water. Bro, bro! You drank all the freaking water, my dude. One less builder. Let's get this water purifier thing. Let's get this figured out. Here you go. Drink some of that water. That's good for you. Now you're not dying of thirst while you're sleeping. I never thought I'd get to a point in my life where I'm like, hey, I know if you can take some time out of your busy schedule to l not literally die of thirst, that'd be great. Um, we should reclaim this building after we upgrade our camp because this will give us even more building space. I like this chicken. We should make this chicken our friend. It will be our friend, chicken. Oh, cool. Yo, it, bro, the chicken is being peaceful with our boys. Oh, the water purifier is popping. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Makes me happy right there. I really want the... um. Oh, I've never seen that. This is a brand new one. Bless a villager causing their next born child to be a Nephilim with superior strength, dexterity, and lifespan. That's really cool. Holy potatoes. That's amazing. We need, we got to get more villagers. Holy wood, men, motivate land. This is the one I want. Um, this, um, this like, uh, encourages the land to grow more stuff. That's what I want. Let's go ahead and put this back on Golem for now. I know that we're safe and it said it's peaceful. I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. Actually, there is no whatever. We just wasted that. Let's, let's spell Golem. Sorry, bro. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to summon you into life to instantly kill you. We might do a labor Golem though. Just having one extra thing around to help. Look at all this. Oh my God! Look at all of the water we're getting. Look at them purifying it up. This guy's eating a raw vegetable. Good job. <laughs> I like your style, kid. Keep it up. It's chowing down. Is it a carrot? What do you got? I think he's eating a turnip. He's eating a raw turnip. Stronger than I. That's all I can say. We have a calm night, which is also good. You can you can click uh, on the body to get a little bit of extra essence. Whoa, it got dark. I don't remember the game doing this before. I remember night, I just don't remember it being this pitch black. I guess that's why you have the illumination spell now, which does make sense, now that I kind of see how dark it gets. And we can increase the speed, but honestly, we're learning, and I don't want to have people just die of starvation, or because they can't drink. Look, we got our first little crop. Oh my god, good job, guys. Look at all this water, we're water rich right now. We're purifying it up. People are drinking finally. Just freaking tilt your head back and open your mouth. Let the water flow into you. It's the only way this is going down. I'm going to let them finish this housing at the very least. What was that? Is that someone leveling up or something? Oh, they can live for 40 cycles. Interesting. They're at seven already. Is... Oh, because some of them started older, obviously. Why is there a red line? Oh, because he's a red. He's a red boy. Maybe because he's the miner? I don't know. 
I guess, it's, oh, it's color coordinated. Yeah, okay. Are, are these the people who live there, maybe? I'm chatting up a storm. Yo, are y'all gonna have a baby anytime soon, bro? Like, I ain't trying to be rude, but like, Papa needs some new babies. This might freak people out. I know they get confused when their god does something. Yeah, look, they're like, what the hell is that? It's a demon. No, nah, it's just, it's your boy. It's a golem. Don't be scared. He's just here to help, okay? He's just, he's a bro. I think he, if I'm not mistaken, the labor golem just does anything. I think he, he just fits in anywhere. And we can actually have two of them, which is going to be kind of cool. Corruption threat. Oh, that's the top bar. I see. The more space in the map the corruption desires to control and can't, the higher this bar will be. As a result, more monsters will spawn in addition to the already steadily increasing daily spawn rates. Oh, I see. So you're fighting against the, the corruption. We got so much water now. Look at this number, that's crazy. I wonder, hold on. Like rain catchers, houses, and wells does not include dirty water. Wow, crazy. So, oh, there's water in the houses. Whoa, cool, okay. So everybody has a house now, right? Where's the problems? Here we go. Bro, we got rid of all the problems. Wait, we're a problem-free nation. Problem free nation in the morning. Yeah, that kind of that kind of makes me happy. You know what? Since we have so much water going around, we'll have one less water master, one more builder. Get stuff done a little faster. Where's our resources? Is it R for resources? No, it's no. There's no button to it yet. We have some silk. I don't even know where we got that. Nothing refined yet. We have a little bit of wood. I think we keep with the uh, the two, two blacksmiths for now. We have a singular gold ore. We're doing pretty good on food, and we're doing pretty good on water. All right. Good. So once... Um, actually, I guess we can go ahead and start this. Why not? It's only six wood and six rocks. Gives more storage space, gives uh, more building slots, and like I said, after that we can officially claim the small ancillary as well. That'll allow us even more building slots. And I think we're good to do a little bit of speed right now. Like, we got... everybody's chill. Speed controls are still very new experimental, saying it beyond too many... Uh, cause severe performance problems late game. Use it your own problem. If your game becomes unresponsive, you can press the space bar to pause the game and lower the game speed before unpausing. Thank you for the information. Um, let's summon him out here so he doesn't cause panic on people. Just let another label labor golem start doing the thing. If we need our energy back, we can always de-summon them anyway, so... Not too concerned about it. So... Move this back down in the, uh, let's move both these back down in the required list because they aren't really that important. I'm pretty sure people can get struck by electricity, by the way, which is kind of scary, but people are okay right now. Oh, available wood. Yo, our lumberjacks, did we cut? I think we cut all the wood down is the issue. I think we need to put more wood cutting. Just start cutting into this forest over here. Like I said, eventually we should be able to start regrowing this stuff, but not right now. There you go. Now you got some more wood that you can go do. Boom, boom. Seems kind of relaxing it, when you're when it's like this. By the way, it can be worse. <laughs> it can be bad. I like our little fountain here. Oh, good job, guys. I guess that's why things weren't getting built so fast. We just didn't have that much wood. Is there a way? Yo, day two, let's go. 
for survivors. Thus, makeshift client you just built manufacture resources like bandages, but in order for your villages working on them, you need to both assign medics and resources. Setting a resource to maintain will try to keep at least that many resources in there. Whereas make will just immediately make that many for you. And you can also set that range over 500 to store up to the maximum amount. Okay. Uh, I mean, we're obviously going to want a person working here no matter what. So let's lower that villager back down. And um, so we have med kits. And we have bandages. Let's make a let's make two med kits, two bandages. Um, let's go ahead and reclaim this as well. It's nice because it's already 50% done, so we barely have to do any work to it. And I think, honestly, what does this take? Yeah, let's just take some more rocks and more stones. Let's just build this up immediately. And I think we're going to start working on defenses. I don't think we need to worry about it in reality. I don't, like, the game hasn't shown us that it's going to spawn bad stuff on us yet. But I do know in the future that's a very obvious thing. And there's some cluckers here. I kind of want to make us a coop. A coop, a coop. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no. Can I delete? Oh, heck. Oh, there we go. Go and get rid of that before I get started. Let's move it a little closer. Oh, my nose. Bugging the crap out of me. Yo, I love this rain we're getting right now, though. We are doing so good on rain. Oh, that's cool. I didn't notice. Yeah, they have little catchers here. Wow, we have so much more water than it even looks like. What does another upgrade to this look like? Oh, you can just increase the capacity even further. I see. Oh, what does this do? Water generation, maximum storage as well as more water masters. Okay. Global speed bonus to all rock harvesting. Increased maximum um, storage. Also gives an additional miner job. A moina. Go ahead and make one of these. I can't remember. Are these just maintainers? Let's just... Let's go to it. A support building that can store almost any resource. Provides additional building slots and organizers that will assist in cleaning up and distributing resources on the map. Okay. That's kind of nice. Oh, look. You can start to see little uh, pathways happening. Pretty cool. Um, You know what? Let's reclaim this too. And we're gonna need refining. Where is it? There we go. We're gonna need a stone cutter, which will stick right beside the mining facility. That just makes sense to me. A lumber mill makes sense to stick up by the um the lumber shack, right? Go ahead and do that. This. Do you know that you can adjust the building's priorities? I did know that. Thank you. What's the next upgrade of this? It's just more basic materials. As long as it's basic... Oh. This requires a kitchen. I was not aware of that. We can do that, though. That's not a big deal. This will make sense to be by the farm and this at the same time. He's right here. and <sighs> We need X, Y, and Z to get there. <laughs> Is this yeah we know about refined materials that's what we're working on don't don't you worry your pretty little head over it all right we're getting there crash I really want to make one of these. We don't have boards yet, though, so that's going to have to wait. We, we don't have a ton of trash right now anyway, but eventually we are going to have that trash issue pop up. Honestly, 
Let's do some light sources, because something I noticed is we didn't have any good light out here. Or here, so let's build one here and here as well. And that should brighten the place up quite a bit. Go ahead and get a worker here. And let's try to maintain... If we're going to build anything, let's try to maintain at least 20 cut boards here. At all points in time. Going good. I don't know if we're going to need this gold storage anytime soon. Like, we don't have gold. <laughs> we have one gold. A band of nomads have arrived in the region. There. There's a map button somewhere. Oh, tab. Oh, shit, look. It's the corruption. I done told y'all about the corruption. Didn't believe me. Like that. And we got new villagers, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and add two more builders, because that just makes sense to me. Um, We're doing great on water. But we are losing water at a considerable rate, so maybe we should have another water master. Just kind of for safety. And the last one, you can just be a ranger. Because uh, we probably do need to worry about defenses, because... Uh, some jerks up here. What are they doing right now? Corrupted Poison Phantom Dart Tower. Fire Tower. The Graveyard. This. Oh, this is scary music. Yeah, it's slowly spreading. Look at this shit. Okay. The defenses are going to be pretty important here soon. So we should probably get a head start on that. Um... So bow towers, probably, and ballistas are going to be our main primary defenses here. Go ahead and have one that covers here. Here. This is going to be a long... This is going to be a process. Actually, wait, wait, wait. We kind of messed this up. You should have overlapping, right? Because if somebody is at the base of the tower... You would want to uh, overlap that and be able to shoot the person at the base of the tower, right? So it's going to increase the amount of uh, listers we're going to have to have, which kind of sucks. But we know that most of this is going to come from the north right now, anyway. I believe monsters can spawn anywhere, but I think this is probably going to be uh, the start of it. And they can grab crystals. We don't have a crystal harvesting place to keep the thing up, but the workers can gather them when they need them. And right now, we don't need a large amount of them anyway. Maybe we should spread this out more. Uh, get rid of one of these. It's going to be you. I'm sorry. And let's make one ballista tower. Open this little sneaky spot we can fit in here. Wait, I should I should position this better as well. All possible. Monsters seem restless. Here's sure heck too. Okay, that covers almost all of them. We could... Oh, we can't put it right there, unfortunately. So, let's do it this way. This covers almost all of them. I just coming. Be careful. This is when monsters will attack. Hopefully you built some defenses like a bow tower. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. Um, where's manufacturing? Here we go. I also need a bowyer. This is a big issue, obviously, as you can tell, because things are going horribly right now. Mistakes have been made. I uh, recognize said mistakes, and I regret it in every way. These guys haven't really made that many monsters yet, though. Oh, you can't actually... You can't actually do what you used to be able to. You used to be able to just attack them straight away from where they were. Monsters are enraged. I don't see any, though. Doggos. Doggos. 
Yeah, I actually don't see any monsters yet, so I guess they just haven't had a chance to make that many of them. You a monster? No, you're a doggo. Heck. I guess they haven't had a chance to make that many monsters yet, which is a good thing, obviously. Oh, there's one. There's a small slime attacking the village. Is there any more? They just have the one. 15 of 16. So they have 16 people right now. Crazy. Is he outside the range? Heck. Oh, they're fighting. What? Oh, they're fighting a slime. Yo, they're slapping that slime up, bro. A little bit of damage to it will make this a little bit better. This, this is a 200 cost. Good. Killed two already. Our people are doing their jobs. Good job, everyone. Whoa, he regens? Crap, I was not aware of that. Ah, so close. I mean, it doesn't matter because we don't have the bow you're made anyway. We should be able to survive this first night pretty decently just via, um... Just via not being dumb. So, how much is this? Oh hey, yeah, uh, ammo. I want to, yeah, 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 yeah. Can you keep coming down? Cool. Slap this enough, it, it runs away from you. Thing. There we go. Now we should, if I'm not mistaken, where did it go? Pick up this key. Drop it. Heck, I missed. It's a good thing. Um, pick this up. Drop. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at all the loot, bro. Oh, that's so good. That's so lucky. Nine times out of ten when you open these, they're just resources. We actually got useful stuff. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, uh, good luck, monsters. Got to do better than that, boys. This. Is that a plant? What are you? Grass? That's not grass. I don't know what that is, but it ain't grass. All right, we're we're doing we're doing we're doing great, doing great, honey. Keep it up. Maintain three of these. Maintain three of these if you can. Mating. Do you know Bob Bush has found a new mate, Melanie Bush? If either one of them have a home, they may try to go home and make a baby. They'll also vi visit each other to boost their mood or try to live in the same house whenever possible. Hopefully they can. Is this trash, bro? There's trash everywhere. I need, I need these defenses built, bro. Like, I need like 20 boards maintained all the time. We're gonna need a cook too, but that's fine. We got more builders now. We did, y'all did a great job last night. Raw meat, raw vegetable. Cook it or eat it now if you really like a rare steak. Cooked meal, a feather. Like making quivers. Okay. Rawhide. Boiled egg requires eggs. Fine. Um, it already has stuff uh made. Or it already has stuff that it wants to be made, so that's good. What? Oh, that because that's a new building. I was about to say, why don't we have any carpenters? Okay, we have tons of water. Let's go ahead and lose a, one of those boys and put another builder up. Our water, our water situation is great. Let's, uh... There you go. Ooh, more nomads. That's really good. Though it does kind of suck because we are going to need, um... We're going to need more houses. 
means we're gonna need more stuff uh there's so many things we need and we're gonna need to start getting rid of this trash that's definitely some trash ashley the doggo has joined your village all right fair fair go ahead and start an upgrade on this we'll claim that doggo house so our doggo has a uh, place to live i guess and i really want yeah let's make another house We're going to have to offset these houses slightly, but we do need more. Let's start with this one so we can offset that one to here as well. I didn't mean to, but we put a fountain there, and I think the fountain's in a really good spot. So as soon as we can start building arrows for our bow towers, we're going to be loving life. Then something we can do is we can start building, um, we can start building defense all the way around to kind of channel them in like a little, little thing here how many doggos can the doggo household though hopefully it's more than one ah. oh the doggo what are, what are you doing slow 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 what are you doing wandering around the owner is melanie bush oh interesting okay i bet i bet that can raise happiness we're gonna have to deal with um all this trash it's starting to pop up it's it's not good chief i really want to keep that around well, you know let's get rid of the recall spell for now let's summon golem spell let's summon two of them out here where people won't get confused come on golems beautiful let's go ahead and do this Oh yeah, we have uh, we have more people now, so we definitely need more stuff to do. Let's double this for now, and we'll keep one person free. One person's gonna be our new trash person. You are the trash person. Do to do 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 do. Let's try to maintain twenty five arrows at all times, so that I'll have plenty of backup for when the monsters come. Um, we already have a bunch of these and we don't necessarily need them. Trade. What's this? Oh, we finished the marketplace. I see. Higher labor is for 1,455 gold. Oh my god, we don't have that. We could sell some of these though. That's pretty good. Oh, four swords that we have that's fine though it's good it's a good start matter of fact hold on oh yeah we've uh, we're using all these never mind and i guess you can work here for now we're probably going to end up swapping you out somewhere else pretty soon but so how many homeless people do we have right now one villager is thirsty two villagers are hot you shouldn't be thirsty we have water four towers have no energy or ammo that's okay and one home has no food. That's also okay. These are all things that are going to be taken care of. We have 24 capacity right now. How many people do we have? Can we see that? 15. No, that's how many slots it has. How many people do we have? Nineteen. Okay, so we're we're over capacity on the housing, but we can make this a nicer house. Yeah, make all that food. Got the chickens up in here. Look at all these chickens, chicken in and around. I think they require food too. I mean that makes sense, but so how many? Two of six. Okay, so you can have six dogs in one dog house. Good. I was really worried we got to make six of those. Take a bunch of building slots. Um, I th so I think it's time we start with the trash. I think we want to do the processor. Because I think processing it is going to be way better. On Does this give negative... I know a landfill gives negative uh, desirability. They both give negative desirability, unfortunately. 
So we can try to stick a processor kind of like out of the way a little bit. I kind of still want to be defended, so let's put it down here. I yeah, let's just put it all the way here. Who are you? Setting up a makeshift marketplace. Are you our friend? Who are you? No, it's a Khajiit provisioner. Oh. So that's where these are the people we can trade with. Khajiit has wares if you have coin. What is this? Silk, feather, rawhide. Okay, what what else do we have? Armor, weapons, trash, tower ammo. Pretty cool, didn't know that. We can buy tools, yo. Can we see how much money we have? Like, I want to hire, but I don't know how much money we have. Having a Khajiit around would be really cool. Oh, there's a lot of stuff you can buy, huh? God dust and suspicious keys. Okay. Available boards. I mean, we should be working on it, right? Are you you working on it? Yeah, you working. Work, 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 work. Why does all this stuff have uh? Why does all this have essence on it? What? Good. Yeah. Oh, they're walking around. You can be able to train these dogs. <laughs> oh my god, he murdered him. Don't murder all the chickens, bro. We need those chickens. What are you doing? Does it say? Eating a raw vegetable over the blood? Bro, clean up the blood first. <laughs> Jesus. What's this? That's another chest. Cool. We just need to find another key then. I think you just get them naturally from uncovering the resources and stuff. I know that sometimes they can spawn uh, in other ways. So let's just take a look around the map real quick and see if we see anything. And um, if you're still here. Oh, there's something. You're still here. I do appreciate you. I know that these kind of games aren't for everyone. Another loot box. Will this always move closer to the village? How does this work? I mean, it might try, but I don't know. It magically find its way over there. Yeah, it might just be locked. While. Yeah, this one is going to be a little too far away, I think, to ever get close to the village. That's okay. Maybe if we uh, get extra keys and unlock it, maybe something will be really good in there. They have graveyards up and running now. They can start summoning enemies, I'm pretty sure. There's the first dude. They don't age and they can last forever. Interesting. Not a fan of that. there iron ore out here? Where did that come from? Oh wait, you finished it. Good job, guys. Uh, I guess they haven't finished the processor, but they're working on it. Go and speed time back up. I feel like right now we're, we're in a very happy spot. Do these have arrows? 0 out of 6, 0 out of 6, 0, 1 out of 6. Yeah, what's, what's taking so long, bro? I got two of y'all. What what are what what's happening? Come we don't have what we need to fill the towers. Um Go ahead and remove somebody from there. Somebody died of dehydration. Bro, why? You have so much water everywhere. Why would you die of dehydration? There's like water in every house too. By like a lot. Like where did you go to die of dehydration? 
That's just some, that's very impressive, actually. Be a key? Is it a key? Oh, it is. Nice. Uh, oh, we don't have, we need to dismiss one of the golems. Bye, good sir. Sorry about it. It do be like that sometimes. Where's the box? Let's see if we can get it in the open a bit more. Yeah, perfect. This is probably going to scare people, but... The key. Oh, you have the key. Labor golem. Drop that key, boy. Ooh, silk, rawhide, feathers. Not bad. At least we uh we can make more bandages and stuff with that. Dude, I can't believe that guy freaking died of dehydration. Like, bro, we got so much water. <laughs> another Khajiit? Who are you? You are another Khajiit. Selling wares. Ooh. Oh, nice. Now we have a... We got the trash boys up and running. Go. One person on the job. You know, let's set up two trashers for now. So do these guys naturally, um, how does this work? What are you doing? Processing trash. Okay. I wonder if, the, do they just naturally go and pick up trash and stuff? I think they do. Let's start with um, some trash cans around as well. We can fit some here. Oh, it has to have that much free around it. What, does this have a negative connotation? It's minus one desirability. That's fine. Like, sometimes life isn't desirable, you know? Let's set one on each side of the village for now. I feel like that's definitely the right call. This is going to be nice because we're at least going to have a way for, um... Oh, this guy is dead. What the heck? Oh my god, look at the arrow... Dude, the arrow towers are slapping. Wait, 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 look at this guy. He's... He broke the freaking... He's... It's Neo in the Matrix. Oh my god, the chicken is taking him down. Oh no, now he's blighted from the zombie child. No, bro. Did he blight all our chickens? How do you unblight someone? Can they go to the clinic and get unblighted? How does this work? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how this works right now. I'm gonna conjure a bunch of stuff over here just because we have the extra um ability to do so with all this extra essence we're getting from all the creatures dying like i think we should probably make use of it right all are doing the lord's work appreciate it yeah look at all the extra free stuff we're getting this is this is big value they're actually helping quite a bit by just Coming around and dying, as weird as that sounds. I do kind of want a tower over here now that I've seen them actually do that, which is kind of annoying. What other towers can we even get? A tower that will do low level damage to any monster in range, consumes more energy and more the more targets that are in range. Oh, so this is one that hits like a bunch of people at once. Let's stick to bow towers for now, because we don't really have um, the ability to do anything else. And let's start the first harder upgrade on our village center. Yo, our village center is starting to look very fancy. Big fan. Wait, did we get another key from this? Oh, wow. I'm all about that. That's awesome. Go ahead and summon a bunch of extra stuff, like... I feel like we may as well use it every chance we get, or we're just wasting energy uh, capacity, right? 
I don't know if we need to click these if they get to make them go away or if they I bet they go away naturally because it looks like every time you click them they decay a little bit so I bet that's like a decay state but I bet they're like undesirable to have around or something wonder if we upgrade this what does it do max range damage and ammunition storage okay so we probably do want to upgrade that blister pretty soon because if it could cover the base of that that would be really good You know, I'm actually really enjoying what we're doing. A wild antler? What is a wild antler? Is this... Oh, it's like a deer. So we've seen doggos, we've seen cl cluckers, and we've seen deer. That was a really good night, actually. Like, only good stuff happened. I mean, Leo got blighted, which I... I assume like kills people over time or something but these guys are unblighted and I absolutely love by the way that um one of our chickens name is literally cluck or it's literally bacon kind of glorious I hope he doesn't get murdered that would be unfortunate um so let's go ahead and get some freebies over here Wood. I think some food spawned as well. Absolutely loving life right now with all this extra free stuff. We're starting to cut out the forest pretty hard though. I'm a little nervous about it. Oh my god, it's been an hour and 11 minutes. Um, hey, uh, the game's fun by the way. You lose track of time and all that stuff. But this is a first look at with Bear Labs here. Um, if you guys liked it, hit the like button. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel. Let's see what this says. Corruption. Uh, as you've probably already discovered, your villagers are not the only ones in the region. As the time passes, the corruption will slowly spread and take over the map. We'll get threatened if you try to push it back too far, increasing monster spawn rate and generally causing trouble. The village corruption's resistance will prevent the corruption from spreading, and you could even sometimes push it back. But if you're greedy and try to claim all the land for yourself, you're going to be in big trouble. I feel like we haven't been too bad about it. But uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked it, hit the like button. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to see more, feel free to let me know. He's talking with the antler? Oh, look, another trader. Dude, this game is so good. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys want more. And uh, I love you all. Have a wonderful day or night. And I will see you guys, hopefully, back with some more Bear Labs really soon. Bye, everyone. Have a good one.